Hey there everybody, hope that today finds you well. I wanted to make this video for you. Gotta be quick today, cause man, today is a busy day. I got to get out of here. I got a meeting um, with a client and I've got tons of stuff. I'm gonna be busy well into the evening, uh, late evening today. But I wanted to get this video out for you because I, what I wanna talk about is the one thing to do if you're unsure of what to do and this is this video is a little bit different it's not just about business it, it does pertain to business and it pertains to sales it pertains to marketing it pertains to everything but it also pertains to personal life and i think is uh really on point with the things that are going on right now with the uh virus and all that kind of stuff and a lot of unsure things going on in uh, society and I don't know is it just me it looks like I don't know if you all can see there's like a shadow beneath me I I don't know why that is I've got lighting and everything's so not really sure why that is hopefully you're not seeing that it's just something on my end but anyway let's get to it oh by the way before I forget I've got something new if you are interested in growing a trusted brand in your area that people like and buy from uh, check out social what is, socialmarketingclass.com and that is a class that I'm going to be putting on probably towards the end of May but I want to there's a little video over there a short video tell you all about it see if you're interested but if you're if you're interested in that at all check out socialmarketingclass.com I think you might like it and just watch the little video over there tell you all about it but anyway let's get on with the one thing uh, the one thing to do and I'm going to probably butcher this quote, but Earl Nightingale, I'm sure you've probably heard of him. He was a speaker back in probably the 50s and stuff, but motivated a lot of people, did a lot of good in the world. And I really like uh, stuff from Earl Nightingale. If you haven't watched his stuff, I would recommend checking it out. Videos all over YouTube, so uh, you can see it. He's, he's a good guy. Anyway, he said, when when you're a little unsure of what to do, take a look at what everybody else is doing and then do the exact opposite because the majority is always doing the wrong thing. And I think that is just words of wisdom. I've pretty much done that my entire life. Uh, I've never been a follow the pack kind of guy. I don't think we, as, we as entrepreneurs, we, aren't really the follow the pack kind of people. We're more this way and we're more into taking risks. We're more, you know, we do that. So it's something that I think will really resonate with you if you haven't heard that before. The thing that I see though, a lot of businesses, especially when businesses get started, they look, and I did, I did this. So I'm not, you know, even though I do go against the grain a lot of times, I did this. When I started my construction business years ago, I went in and I, I looked around at everybody else to see what everybody else was doing. And that's what I did because that's, that's what I thought I needed to do. And it turned out that wasn't what I needed to do at all. It did get me started and I, I wound up with a very good business, but I had to work at it. I had to build the systems into it. And I had some various, I had some help with that. But what I found really was that going, doing things that other people aren't doing will set you apart. It makes your business come across better and well, not better, but unique. And it, it really sets you apart from the pack. And it did me, I was able to sell for higher prices than a lot of people in my area. And you know, my customers loved me. And it, well, the majority of them, you can't make everybody happy. I did have a couple that we had issues with, but for the most part, my customers would love me and I still talk to some of my customers today. So, and that's been, gosh, 20 years ago, I guess I started that business. But um, anyway, what I wanted to get, a, the point I wanted to get across, getting a little tongue tied this morning, I guess, cause I'm in a hurry. But the point I wanted to get across is, if you're ever unsure of what to do next, and no matter if it's in personal life, if it's in business, take a look at what the majority is doing and do the opposite. It's an easy way to kind of focus on things. And I want to tell you a real quick story. Like I said, I got to get going, but my grandfather was in World War II. He was a truck driver and he, he only talked about World War II 
one time that I remember when I was a young kid and uh, he set me and my brother down and started telling us this story. And like I said, he's a truck driver, he's a supply truck driver. He went on a, they used to go supply the troops at night because, you know, less likely they're going to be seen and shot. So he's going in, if you've ever been to military, you might've heard of a blackout marker, but basically it's a real light light that you can only see from a few feet away and military uses these because you can't see it from far away but you can still follow the vehicle in front of you and that's what you're supposed to do my grandfather was about nine trucks into this convoy and he's going out in the truck the truck in front of him turned left which meant the other seven or eight trucks had turned left and my grandfather had been on this thing long enough he knew he was supposed to go right so he had to make this decision, but he went right and uh, wound up getting to where they were supposed to go, dropped his supplies, and trucks don't have radios in them, so he couldn't radio the people and say, hey, you're going the wrong way. But he winds up getting to where they're going, and he tells people, you know, eight trucks went the wrong way, and they didn't find the people that night, and they or didn't find anything that night. They went out, did look for them, found the trucks the next day, but never did find those uh, drivers and the people that were in those trucks. So it was tragic, but at the same time, uh, you know, my grandfather kind of lived this principle. He went the other way. He didn't just follow. So I guess that's the main point I want to get across today is don't just follow the pack. Um, you, it, it, it makes you not unique. And, you know, especially in business, we've got to be unique. We've got to, what really sets you apart and you know when you do these things and you look around and see what everybody else is doing you do the opposite it really makes you unique in your customers eyes and it helps you build a brand so speaking of building a brand if you are interested in all in building a brand check out socialmarketingclass.com it's a class i'm going to be putting on there's no uh there's no way to even purchase it right now all i want to know is if you're interested and if you are, then I'm gonna, there is a little thing that I'll ask for your name and email address just to let me know you're interested. Plan on putting this on in uh, the end of May, and are probably gonna get started at the end of May. There's a little video over on the website that'll tell you all about it. So I'll let that handle it for you. Anyway, socialmarketingclass.com if you're interested in that. We're gonna be building brands and uh, really building companies and doing it in a pretty cool way. So check that out. Hey, thanks for watching today. I have got to get out of here headed to see my customer and uh, see what's going on with him this morning. So I'll talk to you soon. Hey, if you got any questions if uh, or if somebody would type that socialmarketingclass.com in the comments, I sure would appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. For see ya.